Neither Canelo Alvarez nor Gennady Golovkin left the T-Mobile arena with a win last September. We asked media members who they think is most likely to get their hand raised this Saturday. I actually think it's going to be a heck of a fight that's going to be similar to the first fight. I think this is going to go the distance. I still don't see either man going down. I think if either of them go down, it's going to be the moment of the year in boxing. And I think that Golovkin is going to do just enough to emerge with a split decision. I believe because of the age, Canelo have a little opportunity to win. I mean, it's a close fight, but I'm going for Canelo. I think we're going to get a split decision for Gennady Golovkin, uh, maybe in a fight that he wins more convincingly than that. But I think we're going to get a split decision. and. Uh, We'll have some controversy to discuss again Sunday morning. My heart is telling me that Canelo will have that easier fight, that he is the superior boxer, that he will use the ring better than Golovkin. Golovkin, another year older, will have trouble cutting down the ring and Canelo will have his hand raised and people will probably agree with this decision at the end of 12 rounds. My prediction, you can go back and rerun the one we had back uh, in the last fight last September, which was Triple G uh, by points. I think traditionally uh, Canelo has been kind of laying low after the fifth, sixth round. And he did say that he's working on his conditioning, but I see him taking this win by unanimous decision. I'm picking Golovkin by unanimous decision. However, I would not be surprised if Golovkin stopped him late. I see it a 115-113 fight for either guy once again. I'd like to think that Canelo has enough tools in his tool belt, as Teddy Atlas would say, to make the uh, adjustments. He's younger, he's quicker, he's got better foot movement. So all those point to Canelo by a razor-thin decision, but if anybody's going to land a big shot, it could be Golovkin early.